breaking barriers one device at a time hello guys welcome again so in our last video we drew broken we got the sponsor drew broken and we installed these um, apps and i explained um, the use of this all of these apps and Today in this video we are going to install auto plugin to and download some apps and I will, I will show you how to connect this PlayStation Vita to the computer, MacBook or Windows and how to transfer files between the computer, the, the, the PS Vita and your laptop. So first of all open Vita Deploy, no sorry, Vita Shell, then here you press Triangle. It's nice. Press start, and you now choose um, where you want the connection to be. So I take X here and I choose um, SD to Vita. So this connection should be connected between my SD to Vita and my laptop. So when done, I come out. I'm now I'm now connect my SD to Vita to my laptop via this port here. So I've connected my, my PS Vita to this laptop here, MacBook via this port. So I'll just press select on the PS Vita and this will see, we'll launch this. So going back to my laptop now. So I've connected my, my PS Vita to this laptop here, MacBook via this port. So I'll just press select on the PS Vita and this will see. We'll launch this so going back to my laptop now going back to my laptop now i will save this screen i will need to allow connection and this is going to connect the end the ps vita memory to my laptop uh, in here i'll just go to download folder where i've downloaded my auto plugin i will leave the link in the description to download this this file or you just browse to this github page I'll leave the link in the description where you can download auto plugin too. So coming back to my five finder, I'm going to copy this file from here to my PS Vita. Take copy. I come to my PS Vita memory and I just paste it here. I'll paste the item here. Wait for it to finish copying. It's done copying. So let's go back to our PS Vita. Going back to our PS Vita, we are done doing the copy. We just need to cancel the connection. <laughs> Short, I will open up our UMA zero. Scroll down, and this is the file here to plug into. It has been transferred to the Vita. So we click install on the VPK. We take yes, and wait for it to finish installing. Yes, take yes. It's going to install the, the auto plugin tool. Auto plugin tool is a software you can use to download all the necessary plugins for the PlayStation Vita all in one and I'm going to show you guys how it's done because there are games that when you put on the PlayStation Vita you cannot um, play them until you install some kind of plugins like no MPZM for example this way of connecting the PlayStation Vita to the computer is a way, a way we use to transfer games from the PlayStation Vita to the computer this is faster than downloading the games on PKGJ So if it is finished installing, this speed of this uh, this speed depends on your the speed of your of your memory card. So if it to be done, all right, and it's done installing. So let's go back to our menu. Let's disconnect this cable. We no longer need it. We no longer need this cable. We no longer need this. Let's go back to our menu, and we scroll down. You can see the file now has been added to our, our list of files. So guys, we just installed auto plugin so let's run it. Run to plugin so all right. Here we have Vita plugins um, and PSP plugins. Here you can download plugins for your PSP with it within adrenaline. In the last video, I told you how you can emulate a PSP on this Vita using adrenaline. So in this, in this session, you download plugins for adrenaline. Now let's come back to our PlayStation Vita, Vita plugins. 
install plugins so here we find all the plugins necessary for application visual i will tell you the plugins you need to install there are some of the plugins you need to install that will make the vita run smoothly and the rest you can choose what to install first of all you need to install this this plugin install this when you install the plugin you see it would show a green dot here showing the plugins already installed in your system you click x to install it like you click x on the plugin if it's not installed wait for you to come take ok here and you take x to install in my case it's already installed so i just i want to install it but let me just show you if you take x here it will still install the plugin like this so now you need to install these plugins and install adrenaline by the flow this one will fix the, the touchpad okay normally when you take when you go to a plugin at the bottom here you will see the plugin description about the plugin so let's go down to let's go down to all right no mpedm by the flow you need to install this plugin because this one will help you play on official games on the visa games you can come games uh, that are stored in the and you can install this, this one too no power limits you scroll down you still can install this too depends so you just go to the plugins that you that are found here and you install the one that you think are good for you as you can see i've installed this uh, repash by dot tv just go down and you choose what, what, what you want and that should be all but those um, plugins i've shown you are the must install plugins for your video to run smoothly i'm going to play games without any any stress so let's uh, return back my menu let's go back and let's um, explore the other um, plugins we just installed so let's come to um, Let's come to uh, PKDJ and let's see what PKDJ do, do, does. PKDJ is like just like a, it's software where you get all in one games, files, homebrew games, homebrew files, free games from the community. When you open it the first time, you will show like this. You need to refresh your list. So you press triangle and you come to refresh. This will refresh the game library, the GLC, the patch. As you can see, it's refreshing the themes, the PSP game, the PS PSS games. Done, as you can see, you now see games, list of all the various PSP games that exist, PS Vita games. Uh, you can download them from here by just clicking click on X, uh, install game. It's going to add a bubble of the game to your home screen, where the team will download automatically. So you see it has queued the game in the left area. So if you come back to you, yeah, you will see, come back to here, you take this this thing, you will see the game is downloading. Usually um the PS Vita was uh, is runs at a 3G internet speed, so it's, it's it's extremely slow to download games. So what what we always do is that to make this to, to make the process really um, very easy, we just download the games on our on our laptop and we go to um, Vita shell, we connect on Vita to our computer, and then we now transfer the files and we just um, refresh life area. Like if we open Vita shell, we transfer the files, triangle, and you take refresh life area. When you do this, all the games that are in the are in the the memory card, you will come to life area. You will see the games as a bubble. So that's how that's what it is. Used five. Let's go to adrenaline and install adrenaline. So when you open adrenaline, you will show you this custom the six point six one has not been installed. Press X to install. You press X. Let me for you to get finish. And I think it's done. Let's open Adrenaline again. 
and that's it guys so uh, let's close this let's wait press x to install so installing okay it's going in the various directories okay wait for it to do its magic Alright, X to reboot. Um, just press X, let's see what will happen. So you see now guys, we are emulating a PSP on our production on Vita. It is a PSP. Choose a language uh not English please. Uh everything default and we have a PSP. So we can put our PSP games in Vita shell and they will show you on them this memory. So coming back to our home screen, if we uh, if we go to um, Vita shell, let me just show you where the games for where you put the games for the PSP. So you go to your your device, your if you point if you made your if you made your storage to point to your SD card. SD Vita, or you may need to point to your internal memory of your of your PS Vita. If it points to your SD Vita, you just come to UMA zero, and you come down to PSP Emu, yeah. And here you create a folder named ISO. You can create a folder here, and you name it ISO. And you can you put all your ISO files inside there. So when you put all your PSP games inside the folder named ISO, let me just do for you. If you create a new folder new folder you name it iso this is name it iso so you enter your you, you from, from your computer you transfer all your games into this folder all your games all your games all your psp games iso into this folder or uh, when you go back to Adrenaline, the games will now reach Adrenaline in the way you can play now from Adrenaline. So this is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.